Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gary Tupofu here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle Tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper. The General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper, sometimes referred to as the Predator B, is an unmanned aerial vehicle UAV capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, primarily for the United States Air Force. The MQ-9 is the first hunter-killer UAV designed for long-endurance, high-altitude surveillance. In 2006, the then Chief of Staff of the United States Air Force General T. Michael Mosley said, We've moved from using UAVs primarily in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance roles before Operation Iraqi Freedom to a true hunter-killer role with the Reaper. The MQ-9 is larger, heavier, and more capable aircraft than the earlier General Atomics MQ-1 Predator. It can be controlled by the same ground systems used to control MQ-1s. The Reaper has a 950 shaft horsepower turboprop engine, uh, the greater power allows the Reaper to carry 15 times more ordnance payload and cruise at about 3 times the speed of the MQ-1. The aircraft is monitored and controlled by aircrew in the ground control station, uh, including weapons employment. Uh, the U.S. Air Force currently operates 900, or 195 MQ-9 Reapers as of September 2016 and plans to keep the MQ-9 in service into the 2030s. So overall, a uh, very awesome vehicle. Obviously, you know the the scariness of these UAVs and stuff like that being able to be controlled and unmanned and have absolutely devastating effects. Um, so really cool stuff there. This is also our first ever UAV we've done on the channel as well. So also kind of a fun little thing there, um, which is uh, pretty cool. And I think this is a very good, um, very good dr uh, drone to kind of start off with some uh, UAV type builds because uh, the MQ-9 Reaper is absolutely a beast of a UAV for sure. Um, going ahead and uh, taking a look at the vehicle itself though, um, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and looking at the front here. So obviously the front here, this is kind of like the brains of the uh, aircraft, so all the um, computer systems and all that kind of stuff. You got the uh, imaging uh, box obviously used for surveillance optics, for piloting and all that kind of stuff for it, um, basically located there. Uh, we then have various uh, different payloads here, so it's got various different uh, missiles that it could have. And looking at pictures and stuff, I don't know the exact name of these missiles, uh, but I tried to replicate what missiles the aircraft actually has, and this is what I was able to come up with for those missiles. Um, it's got very long, narrow wings that outstretch to the sides here, and then it's got some very interesting vertical stabilizers, with two that stick up like this, and then one that sticks down like that. Um, these might even be considered horizontal stabilizers, I really don't know, but it's got a cool, interesting design for it for sure. And then back here, it's got a turboprop um, engine on the back here uh, with uh, 950 horsepower, giving it a very, um, you know, powerful engine for this size of the aircraft. So uh, overall, pretty cool. We got the landing gear um, like this, and you can see it folded up into the aircraft as well. And there also is a landed version of it as well, so if you want to have it parked at your base or uh, something like that you'll have the ability to have that as well um, anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial for the mq9 reaper by going ahead and move starting with our first layer all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer number three now the reason why we're beginning with layer three is because it's a lot easier for us to get a nice structural setup for the uh, reaper and basically base use this as a foundation to build our future layers off of um, one thing to note though is that if you are wanting to build this thing um, landed, uh, we will be going ahead and adding the landing gear on as a modification um, later on in the video once we finish the in-flight version. So you want to make sure that if you're building this thing, you have a total of three blocks of space from the ground here. So again, you can see the black wool here representing ground level and these orange blocks here representing the space needed between this layer here and the ground again, three blocks of space. Um, also, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials is I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll be building the whole left side of the air, or sorry, I'll be building the whole right side of the aircraft and um, the center line, and then it'll be up to you guys to copy whatever we do on the right side over to the left side to go ahead and set the aircraft up. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Once we do a few layers, it'll make a little bit more sense as to uh, what we're doing. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So for our center line here, uh, we're going to place down a polished anside block followed by a stone brick top side that comes off of it toward the front. Going back from this polished anside block, we're going to place down one, two, and three more polished anside blocks back followed by a row of three of cobblestone walls. At the end of that row of three of cobblestone walls, we're going to place down a block of coal followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven polished anside blocks back, a stone slab full block, two stone brick top slabs, and then a nether brick uh, full or another break. Sorry, um, actually, we're just gonna do 
uh, the stone brick tops up to the back there. So you get something that looks just like this for your very center line. And now we're going to go and work our way out to the sides. So going out to the sides here, we're going to go and place down a stone brick top sub coming off the second polished anti block from the front here. We then want to grab our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three upside down stone brick stairs back. And then we're going to place down a row of two of cobblestone walls. After those cobblestone walls, we're going to take our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of four. So one, two, three, and four stone brick stairs like this across. We're then going to place down a cobblestone wall after your fourth stone or yeah, stone brick stair and then a nether brick slab followed by another cobblestone wall and then a stone brick upside down stair and stone brick top slab like that to finish off the vine there for the fuse lodge. With that done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some signs. We're going to place down signs on the side of this cobblestone wall and on the side of these two stone brick upside down stairs like that um, in this midsection here. Going up to the side now, we're going to go, ahead and, um, go into our uh, wings here. So for our wings, we're going to start off by placing down a stone brick slab. That's going to come off of this stone brick stair right here. It's going to be a stone brick top slab. We then want to place down a second stone brick top slab coming off. And coming off the top slabs toward the front, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. And coming off the top slab toward the back, we're going to place down one iron trap door like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by a row of one and two cobblestone walls directly behind it. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of two stone brick top slabs, come off the cobblestone wall right there in the in the middle there, followed by two iron trap doors on both sides of the stone brick top slabs. Once that's done, we're going to go and do another cobblestone wall, followed by a stone brick stair going forward, cobblestone wall back again for those hard points there for the uh, missiles and all that we're going to attach later. We then want to go and do a row of three of iron trap doors along the stone brick stair and two cobblestone walls. And after that, we're going to do a we're going to do two more rows of three. Like this along the sides here, same thing right here, row three. After that's done, we're going to do a row of two in the front here, so one, two, one, two. And then we just want to go ahead and go off the center iron trap door and do a row three out. So one, two, and three out, just like that. After that's done right there, you're going to go and take the same design that we do over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you should have something that looks just like this up above here for uh, the first layer, layer three. With that all complete, we're going to go ahead and move into our next set of layers which is going to be basically layers one through two uh basically putting the bombs missiles and all the little various details on the bottom of the fuselage on so with that let's go ahead and move into layers one through two all right guys so going ahead and moving into our next set of layers we have layers uh one for two so for these layers to go ahead and get started here we're going to go ahead and go to the very front we're going to go ahead and go down from this polished dance block blocked those the second one back from the front here we're going to place down polished dance block blocked that goes down like this followed by an item frame with a black stained glass paint in, in it like this facing toward the front a wooden sign on the back and then on the sides we're just going to place down a uh, skeleton skull here to both sides of that polished dance block blocked after that's done we're going to go ahead and skip a uh, space right here so this polished dance block we're going to go ahead and go back to the fourth one back place down a cobblestone wall that goes down like this followed by a stone brick slab on the bottom of it. We then want to go ahead and take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of three of iron trap doors on the bottom of these three cobblestone walls right here. We then want to place down a brick slab, that tar, sorry, top slab that comes down from this block of coal right here. Once that's done, out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and go to these two stone brick stairs, place down two iron trap doors, and then also an iron trap door on the bottom of this cobblestone wall. We then want to place down a narrow brick slab that goes down from this uh, narrow brick uh, uh, slab like that so we have an air brick top slab on the bottom there for the landing gear like that uh, moving on to the back here we're going to go ahead and skip a space and we're going to go ahead and go to uh, the uh, polished anti block the last one before the stone slab block right here so right here we're going to place down a block of coal followed by a sign on the side of it uh, facing toward the front we then want to place down a pol or a smooth uh, sorry a stone slab full block that goes back from it and a sign on both sides. We're going to go down from this move stone block, place down a narrow block like this on the bottom here, and a cobblestone wall down from this block of coal. So you can see it lines up here with this stone slab block like that. And uh, that's going to do it there for your vertical stabilizer that goes downward. When that's uh, done there, we're going to go ahead and move into our hard points here. Now these hard points, you can obviously do whatever you want. You can change it up, do a different missile loadout if you guys want to. Uh, I'm just going to be basically copying the missile loadout that I used over here for this design. So uh, we're just going to be basically doing the same thing here. So first to go ahead and get started, our first missile is one of the larger ones. We're going to take our stone uh, slabs. So we're going to go and place down a row of two stone slabs on the bottom of this stone brick stair and a uh, cobblestone wall like that. Coming off the uh, stone slabs forward, we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair like this, followed by a uh, prepare, uh top slab going forward and then a skeleton skull on the end here. 
on both sides of the prefer top slab. We're going to place down a uh, sign on both sides. And on both sides of the uh, stone uh, top slabs here, we're going to go and place down signs on the sides of them as well. We then want to go and go to both sides of this skeleton skull, place down a wither skeleton skull like this, and then we're going to place down a redstone comparator, uh, like so, on top of that stone brick upside down stair. With that done, we're going to go and continue working our way back. We're going to place down a stone brick, or sorry, quartz upside down stair on the rear here, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate to both sides of the stair. So, dark oak fence gate like this, and same thing over here dark oak fence gate like that and then when that's done there we're going to grab a stone button and place down a stone button coming off the middle or the um quartz uh ups downstairs there with a wooden sign to both sides of it like this for the missile uh we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame so we're going to go into our creative menu for this grab an item frame and we're also going to need a black wool block on the back of the quartz stair and i just threw my item frame because you know like that and we're gonna place down an iron frame with a black wool block in it on the back of the stair same thing over here just like that with that all done we're gonna move into our next set of uh smaller missiles here we're gonna place down a iron uh or sorry a stone brick top set that comes down from the stone brick stair here for the second hard point followed by an iron trap door that comes off of it going forward going back from the stone brick top set we're gonna go ahead and go back one and two more stone brick top sets like so uh, when that's done there we're gonna go and grab ourselves some nether brick slabs we want to go ahead and go down from this uh, stone brick slab, from the top slab, we're going, to go, we're going to go ahead and then place down a nether brick slab on both sides like that. After that's done, going forward from this nether brick slab, we're going to go ahead and go one, two, and three forward. Same thing over here, one, two, and three uh, nether brick slabs forward. Or, um, yeah, we're actually going to go and do just two forward, save so a row of three nether brick slabs and then a uh, birch wood uh, uh, slab there on the very end. Uh, we're then going to take a wither skeleton skull, place down a wither skeleton skull on both ends. And once you have that done, that will be the set of missiles there on the outer portion of the wings. You have your bigger missile on the inside here. And uh, obviously you're going to take the same design and bring it over to the air wing. As I mentioned, you can use your missile designs if you've done any of my other tutorials and you want to use some of those missiles, feel free to go and do so. I was just basically copying what I saw uh, most Reapers loaded out with. So uh, that's what the idea behind these missiles and all that stuff is. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layers 1 through 2. Let's go ahead and move on to layer 4. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number uh, 4. So with layer 4 to start off with, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this stone brick top step on the front here, followed by an end rod coming off this stone brick stair going toward the front. After that, behind this stone brick stair, we're going to place down a long row of what is going to be 18 of the concrete powder, the light gray concrete powder. And this is going to basically end on top of the stone brick top slab on the rear here and begin right after the stone brick stair like so. So row of 18 concrete powder back. Once that's done, we're going to place down a quartz uh, full block on the end here, followed by a cobblestone wall. And we then want to place down a skeleton skull on the end of that cobblestone wall, followed by a sign on both sides of the cobblestone wall like that for the end there. And that'll be where our blades uh, or props kind of connect up to for the turbo prop there. Once that's done, we're going to go back up to the front, go out to the sides. We're going to place down one and two skeleton skulls along this stone brick stair here and this concrete powder block. We're then going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by a near light gray concrete powder block, followed by a stone brick stair. One stair coming off it, so this is a corner stair, regular stair. We're then going to place down a row of two of cobblestone walls, followed by one, two, three, four um, stone brick stairs back, one, two, three cobblestone walls back, one, two stone brick stairs, and then one. Uh, did not mean to drop that one there, uh, but one and two cobblestone walls back like that. Um, once that's done, we're going to go to the tail here, out to the sides, going off these stone brick stairs. We want to go ahead and then place down a additional stone brick, uh, instead of two of stone brick stairs coming off those two. So just like that up to the side, and then a skeleton skull coming off the back of this stair right there. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and uh, go back up to this section here. We want to go ahead and go to this, this uh, stone brick stair here that's in the middle here for the wing. And we're going to be placing down a row of 19 stone brick slabs coming off of it. So this stair right here. We're going to go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 stone brick slabs out to the side like that. Uh, once that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down uh, 1 and 2 iron trap doors trapdoors back from the stone brick slab and we want to go ahead and go out to the side one two three four five six seven and eight so it ends on top of that iron trapdoor right there 
Uh, for our row going forward here, we're going to go and basically take this all the way to the side. So starting off from this stone brick stair, we're going to go ahead and go all the way along this row of 19 of stone brick slabs and place down wooden or iron trap doors. Sorry, all the way along to the very tip there, like so. Once you have that all complete, uh, that will pretty much complete the uh, aircraft there. And we'll go ahead and move on to putting the turboprop uh, blades on, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, if you've done any of my aircraft tutorials that have the three blades, you're going to be very familiar with this design. It's pretty much my standard design to use. Uh, but basically, go ahead and go into this quartz full block here. We're going to go one and two. Narrow brick top slabs, followed by a birch wood top slab out to the side. You can do it uh, flip the other way, whatever you want to do. Uh, we're just going to have it sitting this way. Once that's done, we're going to go up uh, on the other side here. We're going to go up with a narrow brick stair, followed by a second narrow brick stair. And then we just want to place down a narrow brick, or sorry, a birch wood slab there on the very top. Once that's done, going down from the quartz block on the bottom here, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair. We're going to go ahead and go from the stair like this down with a narrow brick stair. And then on the bottom of this narrow brick stair, a upside down birchwood stair like that. And right there is going to create your props here on the back. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer four of the build. Let's go ahead and move on to layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're going ahead and move on to layer five. For layer five to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down a stone slab uh, block on top of this. Uh, light gray uh, concrete powder block. We're then going to place down two light gray concrete powder blocks back, followed by a stone brick stair, stone brick slab, iron trap door, stone brick stair facing this direction, iron trap door, stone button, red stone repeater with the notches flicked out to the sides, stone button, red stone repeater again, just like this one, notches all the way out to the side, followed by a stone button. We then want to place down a stone brick upside down stair and come off the stone brick stair toward the front. We're going to place down a item frame with a black stained glass pane in it for a little air intake for the engine. We then want to place down two polished anti blocks back, and another iron trap upside down trap door like this, and then two iron trap doors going toward the back here, and you on top of that quartz full block to go ahead and finish off um, that middle uh, row like so. Moving out to the sides, we're going to go up to the front here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this uh, stone brick stair here at about a 45 degree angle, and then going back from it, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by again a uh, skeleton skull here at about a 45 degree angle. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go back to this intake here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of this stone brick upside down stair, followed by one and two cobblestone walls back. And then we want to go ahead and then take our stone brick slabs coming off the stone brick stairs. We're going to place down two stone brick slabs like this. And then we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab that's going to come off of this slab like so. And uh, that right there will do it for your stabilizers out to the sides. And that will complete layer number five. Let's move on to our last final layers. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving into our last final layers, we have layers six through seven. So for these, uh, basically all we're going to be doing here is just focusing in on the back and basically wrapping this up. So to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron trap doors. We're going to place down one and two, one on top of the stone brick stair, one on top of this polished dance like block for this middle intake here. We then want to go ahead and go to the stone brick slabs, the basically the side fins here, and we're going to go ahead and work our way out to the side here. Now, uh, for this, we're going to be placing down a polished, or not polished downside block, but a stone brick stair that is going to come off this stone brick slab here, out and at an angle. And it's going to have an indent from the front, and on the side of the stair, we're going to place down a um, skeleton skull like that. Going up from the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by a nether brick top slab like that, and then come off this stone brick slab, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that. And we're just going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it a little bit quicker since we've already kind of went over it here. Uh, but it's the same thing as the other side. Pretty straightforward stuff. And just like that. And we have our two stabilizers coming out to the sides there. And once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for the in-flight version of the MQ-9 Reaper. Uh, let's go ahead and move into doing the landing gear for those of you guys that want to see it. But if you guys just want the in-flight version, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, but let's go ahead and move into the landed version. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into building the landed version of the uh, Reaper drone. Now, if you uh, built it correctly and followed the directions I had at the beginning of the video when we started our first layers, uh, you'll notice that you'll have a total of three blocks of space from the fuselage here. If you go ahead and take a look at the optics box here, um, you'll have two blocks of space. So just make sure that, that is all correct and good to go uh, before you start doing this, because obviously we don't want any... Uh, thing messed up or not working right so uh, very important that's all correct but anyways for the landing gear to go ahead and, and get started here we're going to uh, break these iron trap doors and this nether brick uh, top slab here in uh, in the fuselage here we're going to break these three cobblestone walls which you'll see these uh, concrete powder blocks will drop but we're going to place down a row of stone brick top slabs here on the inside to kind of close that off 
And up on top here, we can go and fill in the space here. Like that again, so we have that all filled in and closed off. Now, when we get to this point here, uh, we want to go ahead and go to the stone brick stair. And for this, uh, we are going to go ahead and actually take this block here and instead of a stone brick top side, we're going to replace that with a polished nanoside block. Now, going down from this polished nanoside block, we're going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair like this. And on the bottom of it, we're going to place down an iron trap door. Uh, when that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and we have the stone brick top slab here. And then we're going to go forward with another brick slab. So I need to go ahead and actually grab one of those. So we're going to place down a narrow brick slab that goes forward like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a block of coal. So again, that's a block I'll need to grab here. So a block of coal on the end here, followed by a stone button to both sides of it. And on top of the block of coal, we're going to place down a redstone comparator with its uh, facing in that direction like so. Also up here in this section, we're going to grab ourselves some uh, signs. We're going to place down some wooden signs on the side of this uh, narrow brick stair here on both sides like that. And on the back of the narrow brick stair, for a little bit of detail, we're just going to place down a trip bar hook like that. And that's right there is going to do it for your front uh, wheel going forward. With that, let's move on to the back wheels. All right, guys, so moving into the landing gear on the rear, we're just going to be going ahead and modifying this section here to make it work for our design. So for this section here, we're going to break this, uh, these two narrow brick slabs here. We're going to break those out like that. We're going to break uh, these wooden signs. Um, all the way until we get to this stair right here. We're also going to break this stone brick stair, this cobblestone wall like this. And uh, we also want to break these two iron trap doors. Now also this uh, stone brick stair is going to get broke as well. So we're going to break it and uh, we're going to break this iron trap door. Now from this point here, you have this section kind of cut out in the fuselage. We're going to place down another brick uh, upside down stair like this. Going down from the stair, we're going to go ahead and go down like this, place down a narrow brick fence post. And we want to go ahead and go down again, place down another narrow brick fence post down like this. And on the bottom of this fence post here, we're going to place down a narrow brick top set. Cut off this narrow, top, narrow brick top set to the side, we're going to place down a block of coal, followed by a stone button on the side here. And we're going to go ahead and go on the sides of the narrow brick fence post facing toward the fuselage and place down wither skeleton skulls like that alongside here for the leg. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to place down a row of three of stone brick top subs. Fill in this section here. And we want to place down wooden signs on the narrow brick stair, the stone brick top subs, uh, the first two stone brick top subs, and leaving the third one here alone. You're going to take the same design for the landing gear, flip it over to the air side, and you'll have both landing gear complete. And as you can see, once you have that transferred over, you have both your landing gear complete here on the rear. You also have the front one, and you have this thing landed and good to go. With that all complete, that is going to finish my tutorial for the MQ. 9 reaper unmanned combat aerial drone hopefully you guys uh do enjoy this uh build and are able to put it to good use if you guys, if you guys do end up using the designer to say you guys give me proper credit for it this being thing from a son to build take to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites as long as you guys give me credit, proper credit for it, your free user forever projects you guys are working on other than that thank you guys all so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been your 204 and i'll see you guys next time